Welcome fellow devs. Today we're going to make the PR process less painful by using PR agent. The first thing we're going to do is review our application. Then we're going to create a pull request. Then we're going to see the pre-configured PR agent describe, review, and improve on the page in GitHub. And then we're going to apply one of those suggestions from PR agent from the improve right there on the web page. And then we're going to have a conversation through comments by using the Chrome extension that we have to make your life even easier by just clicking a button. Let's go ahead and dive in. So we just completed our code, the stock ticker application. Um, we can look over to the left and we will see our application here. We have some just Java files, Spring Boot app. Let's go ahead and start our application. Now we know it's running, no errors. We see our Spring logo. We're gonna go ahead and make a call to retrieve all the stock tickers. There we go, just one company. And now let's go ahead and do a post to test that out. And we'll go ahead and do another get to see that everything's good. Great, we've already pushed this project, but we are just testing it, make sure all of our code's working. And we think we can do a pull request now. So we got it pushed. So that's gonna be our next step. Let's go do our pull request. So now we're here in GitHub and we're gonna go ahead and create a pull request here. And now that I have it open, I'm gonna go ahead and decide I, I wanna rename this. So I'm gonna give it a PR agent and just call it initial. But we'll find out also that our PR agent will help us out here too. So let's go ahead and create that. Now PR agent has done its work. It's created a description for us. It's created a comments and some uh, suggestions also. This has been pre-configured and you can go read the documentation about that. If you look, I'm checking out the different files that I've changed. So another reviewer can read these comments and get a good understanding of this. And I didn't have to type any of this. So PR agent has done all of this for me. And so this is very powerful. It's also said, hey, how many lines have changed? Now, yes, you can get that in your diff and look at that, but this is a good one of getting a description and the line changes. Now we come down to PR reviewer guide and you'll see first that I have no unit tests. And this is gonna be about a three out of five effort to do this review. So now you can kind of plan on how long it's gonna take you to do a review. Also, there's a security change that um, or concern that has been checked here. The username and password was checked in. That's not good. So this is great as a check gate to do that. So it's got some good security um, checks here and it's got a code change for us. So your mileage will vary on if you can do this feature or not because you'll have unit tests that will fail usually. But this is a great example. I can apply that change there. So I just did that. And you'll see that in a second, PR agent is gonna go ahead and apply that change for me. And if you look, that's perfect. So this is what it's gonna change. And it's gonna say, let's use parameters instead of putting in the password. So uh, for the example, we don't have to worry about it because this is just local database password, but in production and stuff, you're not gonna wanna have that. So I can go ahead and uh, go, commit the suggestion. I'm just gonna use the default. I would suggest you add to it, say maybe PR agent helped me out with this or whatever you're gonna do. And it's committed it. So let's go look and you'll see that you have a new commit and we're gonna go ahead and validate and can see the changes. It's been committed now on this branch and in this review. So let's go back to the conversation and go down and see some other things that we can do. So um, the one thing we can do is right here in the PR agent tool, we can have a conversation with the PR agent. So not only can you have this configuration and set things, but you can actually ask to improve the code, the number like to one and the score to eight. And I just click the button. So I don't even have to know how to set it up. 
and you'll see the eyes that are going to show up that'll indicate that PR agent picked it up and it's that fast sometimes it'll be a little bit slower sometimes it'll be faster um, but now it's actually having a work in progress that it's actually going to come up with some more code suggestions that we said threshold eight and one chunk per so if we look at this you'll see that it got to security because the commit that it's checking that you saw is different. It's the original one. It's not the one we just changed. So that's what we're changing on here. So that's why we still got that security. And now you have the double and you'll see the score too, because we said eight out of 10. So we will eight, nine and 10. And now here you could make this change here or you could do it in your IDE and then you can go ahead and get it a reviewer to come through and review these changes. Let's recap. We're removing the pain in the PR process. We now have this AI quality check gate that's assisting the human reviewer. You can have a conversation during your open PR with the AI agent. It's highly configurable to meet your needs and I suggest going and looking at the documentation for that. Here's to better reviewing with PR agent.